Our lives would be very different if we had famous parents. For the people on this list, they don't have to worry about that because their parents are famous. That is right, I am back with a part 2 list of top 10 celebrities who have famous parents. Must be nice. I'm your host of this one, Joss Bedard. Thanks for coming back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. If it's your first time here, stick around till the end because we do common shout outs. And also make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so that you can hang out with us every day. You can also find us on social media, all of our links are down below. But I want to get jealous and I want to talk about more people who have famous parents. Because mine ain't famous. Beginning list number 10 is Kate Hudson. The actress has been well known for her rom com circuit, showing up in almost all of them at one point in time. But her mom was well known for comedy films long before she was. Her mom, Goldie Hawn, appeared in countless films throughout the 80s and 90s and still goes down as a legendary actress in Hollywood. The two of them are very close and have always shared their passion for acting, and now they are both moms. They recently posed for the cover of People magazine together with Kate's daughter, Rainy Rose, and it was like the cutest thing ever. In the interview, they talked about their bond with each other, but also the tough times that they had to get through as a family. That's like goals. I wish I could like have a shoot like off my mom and my kid. It's really freaking cute. I don't have a kid. I had to make that clear. <laughs> Up next, number nine is Brody Jenner. Most people came to know him from the reality TV series The Hills, but some people also got to know him from Keeping Up with the Kardashians. He would appear in some of their episodes because he's actually half siblings with Kylie and Kendall Jenner. If you're piecing this together in your head right now, Yes, Brody's dad is Bruce Jenner, now Caitlyn Jenner. A lot of people didn't know that Bruce at that time had other children while filming Keeping Up With The Kardashians, until they just started to appear in some of the episodes. Brody was also in the recent reboot of The Hills where he talked about his relationship with his dad and how he feels about his transition into Caitlyn. He admitted that of course it was a weird adjustment at first, but that he supports her and is happy she's able to be who she always wanted to be. That'd be a hard adjustment, let me tell you. Especially because he was like, like a world athlete, and I feel like, like growing up, you're probably like throwing balls with him, and like it would just be a, such a hard transition. Sliding to number eight is Liza Minnelli. She's a very successful actress and singer who has had a long career in Hollywood, despite not having her mom around for some of it. She has won Academy Awards for some of her acting performances, and is known for her energetic and powerful performances while singing. Some would say that her talents came from her iconic mother, Judy Garland who became known for taking on the legendary character of Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. The amount of talent between the two of them is like insane. Sadly, Liza lost her mom in 1969 after she died of an accidental drug overdose at the age of 47. Her story has gone down in history though for her struggles with a substance and alcohol addiction and how she was actually abused by people in the industry while filming The Wizard of Oz. It's caused a lot of controversy. Pretty crazy. Making her way into number 7 is Tallulah Willis. The actress became known for her work on The Scarlet Letter, Bandits, and The Whole Ten Yards. And she recently launched her own clothing line inspired by mental health. She's always been very open with her fans about her struggles with OCD, anxiety, and depression. I personally became known of who she is and her famous parents after she appeared on the MTV series Catfish. She appeared in multiple episodes as a guest host and explained that she is the daughter to Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. She now has has a close relationship to both of them, despite the fact that they did split up. But there was a point she said where she actually didn't talk to her mom for three years. Luckily, they were able to reconnect and they are closer than ever now. How do you not talk to your mom for three years? That's crazy. I'd be like a brand new by the time I talk to my mom again. She wouldn't recognize me. Rolling to number six is Miley Cyrus. We all know that she skyrocketed into fame because of her Disney role Hannah Montana. But an interesting fact that we don't know is that her dad, the musician Billy Ray Cyrus, actually played a huge part in her audition process for that role. He was at the audition process with Miley because she was actually just 11 years old and was reading for the part of Hannah's dad and they ended up loving the chemistry that they had together and wanted him to play the part. No, <laughs> 
you know, at that time, he was Billy Ray Cyrus. He was popping. Billy talked about it recently in February of 2020 after a prequel show for Disney Plus was confirmed to be in the talks. I would die. I'm hoping that happens. He talked about the original casting process and said, They had cast me as her dad, and I said that they should get a real actor. I don't want to mess the show up because this is a great script and a great concept. But the two of them took on their roles and it ended up being one of the biggest shows in Disney history. Halfway through our countdown, number five is Laura Dern. She first received international recognition when she starred in Steven Spielberg's classic Jurassic Park back in 1993. From there, she went on to build a wildly successful career with both Golden Globes and Academy Awards under her belt. In more recent years, she is known for starring on the TV series Big Little Lies and the movie Little Women. Laura brought her mom, Diane Ladd to the 2020 Oscars and people were freaking out to see them on the red carpet together. Some even saying that they didn't realize they were even related. Both of her parents are famous actors, her dad also being Bruce Dern. She talked about her parents fame with Variety and admitted that they didn't want her to become an actor and that her mom actually discouraged her because she was worried for her just knowing how hard the industry could be. But she went on to become an actor anyway and uh, here we are. Cruising into number 4 we have Ashley Judd. Not only is she known for her acting, but she's also known for being a political activist. Her acting career wouldn't be surprising for the people that know she is the daughter of Naomi Judd, the country music singer. She talked about her childhood and how she's grown up in a family of performing artists, so the industry was just something that she was always intrigued by. Her acting career has spanned for more than three decades now, and not many people piece together that her mom is Naomi because she isn't involved in the music part of the industry like her mom is. I had no idea, just saying. Taking over the third spot is Drew Barrymore. She became a star at the age of seven after starring in Steven Spielberg's movie E.T. But at that point, she had actually already been working for six years. She actually landed her first job in a dog food commercial at just 11 months old. Maybe you're wondering why on earth her parents would submit her to jobs at such a young age, but that is because they were both in show business as well. Her dad is John Barrymore and her mom is Jade Barrymore. Her parents were both famous actors, but her mom went on to actually become her manager. Her dad was just carrying on the family business working in film and TV. His father, Drew's grandfather, was the most acclaimed Hamlet of his generation. And on top of that, her great grandfather, Maurice Barrymore, was starring in silent movies back in the 1800s. So her family has an entire lifeline in the acting industry. Like literally from start to finish. Now I'm like, I just have no chance. You know what I mean? Literally. I'm like, I didn't realize everyone had like some kind of connection. Meh. Taking over second place is Billy Lord. This is another family tree filled with tons of talent. The actress is known for her performances on the series Scream Queens and American Horror Story. It makes sense that she would be a talented actress because her mom is Carrie Fisher and her dad Brian Lord. I mean, how cool would it be to say that your mom was Princess Leia in Star Wars? That's unreal. After her mom passed away, they actually used Billy in the final movie to help develop Princess Leia's CGI, which is really freaking cool. On top of her parents being well known in Hollywood, her grandma is too. Her grandma is Debbie Reynolds, the famous actress and singer who starred in Singing in the Rain. Billy has talked about her famous family and said, I've always kind of lived in their shadows and now is the first time in my life when I get to stand on my own. I love being my mother's daughter and it's something I always will be, but now I just get to be Billy. That's a freaking sweet setup in Hollywood, <laughs> let me tell you. In the number one spot is Zoe Kravitz. The actress, singer, and model has a pretty sweet setup when it comes to her home life. She is the daughter to the iconic musician Lenny Kravitz and the iconic actress Lisa Bonet. That in itself would be the coolest thing ever, but she also has a famous stepdad. After her parents got divorced in 1993 when she was just five years old, Lisa went on to marry actor Jason Momoa years down the road. So Zoe has three very successful parents in the industry, which we can imagine would be very helpful for her career. And also really freaking sweet. All right guys, there's our part two list. Share your thoughts with me down in the comments and leave a like if you enjoyed it. But for now I'm gonna end the video with some comments from The Truth About Jake Paul. CL says, Joss, you're wearing your shirt with the cute circle with the tail. That is a cue. Yep, go on. Ashley Corriors. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong, says, what's the Q stand for? Yes, it is a Q and it actually stands for a brand. They are called Queen of Hearts. So the Q is for Queen. 
Michael Kayard says, I have subscribed to Jake Paul's YouTube channel. I'm so happy that my video encouraged you to go subscribe to his channel. Bill Desmond says, those aren't massive firearms. You must be stupid to say that. Well, in comparison to a handgun, those looked pretty massive to me. So I guess I'm stupid. All right guys, that's all I have. I'm getting out of here. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, chat with us on social media, do all of the things. I've been your host Joss, I will see you next time. We'll